Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Farron Property Show. I'm Farron Hay, your trusted private property advisor. Just a quick recap. In our past episodes, we have been covering ways you can finance a private property and skip public altogether. In this episode, I'm going to cover another strategy called asset pledging. Before we begin, what exactly is asset pledging? A pledged asset is a collateral for a loan. It is transferred to the lender from the borrower to secure a debt while the ownership of the asset remains with the borrower during the loan period. See it as a cushion for the lender against defaults on the payments. What kind of assets are there? The Monetary Authority of Singapore recognizes two types of assets. One, your liquid assets. These are Singapore dollar notes, coins, and those funds deposited in the bank account. Two, other assets. This includes collective investment schemes, trusts, stocks, and foreign currency deposits, or even gold. Who is this best suited for? Do you know? According to the TDSR or Total Debt Servicing Ratio Framework introduced by MAS in 2013, an individual cannot loan more than 60% of his or her income to service his or her debt. Therefore, this is an excellent strategy for those that are cash rich but are ineligible for housing loan simply because they have insufficient income flow. With sufficient cash, assets, or even financial backing, this is wonderful strategy for you to acquire private properties and grow your wealth. Now that we have this basic understanding, let me take you through an example, a simple calculation. Say for example, if you have $200,000 in cash that you would like to pledge with the bank for four years, for example. So we key in $200,000, divide by 48 months, four years, that will give you $4,167 in additional income per month. So that this will likely help you qualify under the TDSR criteria, thereby securing your housing loan. A word of caution, if you choose to pledge your asset with the bank for four years or more, then good news, the bank will recognize 100% of its value. However, if the pledging is less than four years, the bank will only recognize 70% of its value. Now, skipping public and owning private isn't so unattainable, isn't it? With asset pledging, you are able to increase your income and secure that housing loan. Well, I hope you guys found this insightful. In my next video, I will share with you another strategy on how to own private properties. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that when the new video is uploaded, you will know. Thanks for watching and in the meantime, remember, skip public and own private.